All right, the last topic we're going to cover this year is Latino or Hispanic civil rights in North America and the United States from 1903 to 2006. Now, what I'm going to send you here in the Google Classroom is a website, Latino Civil Rights Timeline, 1903 to 2006. And what you're going to do is you're going to review, this is step one, you're going to review all the elements of the timeline, and you're going to build your own timeline on a separate piece of paper based on one of four categories. There's a lot of elements here, but you're going to identify which um, which of these elements belong in one of these four categories you see here. Civil rights and education, cultural conflict and violence, political appointments and actions, and then immigration or citizenship. There is 50 or so items on the website's timeline. You're going to identify the 10 or 12 or so that fall into one of these four categories of your choice. Scroll through, read them, write them down, and then put them on your hand-drawn timeline. Now, stage two, then, is going to be to figure out how to put together this timeline. So what I'm going to do over here is try to help you build your timeline. So what you're going to need is an eight and a half piece of eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Turn it on its side, and then take a ruler and draw a line right across the middle, just like this. From here, dot over to there. All right, it is a timeline. It's time, which never starts or stops. So put it on an arrow on either end of your timeline. Our range is from 1903 to 2006. We're going to round that out a little bit. We're going to start in 1900 on the one side, and then we're going to end in 2020 on the other side. Now, that's 120 years, so halfway between 1900 and 2020 is 60 years, so that's 1960. We're going to cut it in half one more time. So 1900 to 1960 is 60 years. So halfway between those two is going to be 30 years, 1930. And then 1960, again, splitting this one in half, 30 years between 1960 and 2020 is going to be 1990. So you have the baseline of your timeline. And then what you're going to do is using the category you choose, you're going to put a header on your timeline. Now, this is my header at the top of my page, Union Action. This is, you cannot, this is not one of the options, however. But you're going to choose one of your options and title it. You're going to give it the title of uh, uh, Political Action, Political Appointments, 1900, 1920, or whatever it is you choose. And then what you have to do is you have to go through the timeline. Now, we're going to start here in the, on the older end, the 1900s, and try to analyze each of these points and see if they belong. Now, right here, right away, I see 1903 in Oxnard, California. You have more than 1,200 Mexican and Japanese farm workers organized, and I see organized, I think, labor and I think unions. The first farm workers union, the Japanese Mexican um, Labor Association. So I put a dot on my timeline about where 1903 would be, and then I label it. The label for this one is going to be Japanese Mexican um, Labor Association. I'm going to also include the year in which this event happened. So in this case, it's going to be 1903. So in parentheses, I'm going to write 1903 next to my label. And then finally, you want to add one more little tag, I'm calling it. And the tag is what would be a little bit more info. So in this case, my tag, so it's like a label on my label, the tag is going to be Oxnard, California. Now, this thing is going to speed up. Now you're going to see me kind of churn through this. All together, it takes about 15 minutes. But I go through the entire website, and I pick out the 10 or 12 or so items that I think belong on my union action timeline. I write it all as neatly as I can. I include the date, and I include a little tag. Now, if you want to, you can throw in something beyond 2006. It's just the website's list ends at 2006. Um, but if you have something you want to include from one of these topics that happened after 2006, go right ahead. Now, again, you're going to choose one of these topics, and I show them again to you here. You have civil rights and education. So civil rights is like voting or uh, protections under the law, and then education is education. Cultural conflict and violence, you're going to see that where Hispanic Americans and immigrants conflict with uh, with Native, I guess, American national uh, United States citizens. You're going to have that happening. You're going to have political appointments and actions. Political appointment would be a person. 
uh, who was uh, appointed to either pro- promote or prohibit the civil rights of Hispanic Americans, and actions could be laws that are passed. And then we're going to have ideas with regards to immigration or citizenship. Similar, but if you think it's an immigration topic or a citizenship-related topic, whether for or against, you can put it on your, um, on your timeline. Now, at the end of all this, you're going to take your timeline, take a picture of your timeline, nice and flat as you see mine here. I'm going to give you a Padlet link to post it to. You'll post it to the Padlet site. Now, thir- Wednesday and Thursday, you're going to choose one element from your timeline, and we're going to do a deep dive on that element. But I'll get into that later. All right? Take Talk to you soon.